Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to try to give you a rough overview of Windows versus Mac versus Linux so that you can pick out which OS is right for you. So you would like Windows if you like things to be easy to understand and just work when you try it the first time. By running the most used OS out of the bunch, you're certain to have access to the greatest library of games and software, and tech support personnel and online tutorials are most likely going to cater to you the most to help you along your way in getting things done. If you're a user of Mac, you're willing to pay more for the products that you use as long as it gets results and it keeps you on the cutting edge. While Mac computers may be a distant cousin of modern Linux operating systems, you still get much more by investing in the Apple line. Compatibility with additional software like Photoshop, a clean, easy-to-use desktop, and belonging to a semi-elite and trendy group of modern consumers. For the techie developers out there, owning an Apple computer also allows you to publish applications onto the iPhone Store, one of the most popular app stores on the global market. And lastly, for Linux users, you're probably going to like Linux if you're the type who likes to tinker with the machines you use, and you're okay with having to put in more work to get things set up, at least initially. While you don't need to be a elite super hacker to set up Linux systems anymore, it will still require you to enter the terminal from time to time. If you don't know what the terminal is, it's kind of like command prompt in Windows. If you don't know what that is, it's a black screen where you type in commands using text rather than using a graphical interface. As a result of using Linux, though, while it may be more complicated initially, you get a lightning-fast operating system that's also free and supports a myriad of great free and open-source applications. So I hope that this quick rundown of Windows versus Mac versus Linux has given you something to think about. They're all fine operating systems in their own right. As long as you take some time, learn how to use them, you can manage on any of the OSs. So I've been Chris, thank you very much for watching my video. If you'd like to support the channel, you can find links down below to do so, and I'll see you in my future videos.